Hey everybody, I'm Snackman, and with the Call of Duty Modern Warfare beta out, I thought it'd be a good idea to drop some tips and tricks for one of the best starting guns in the game, the 50 caliber GS. Now I'm not totally sure what the GS actually means, but I think it has to stand for good night, sweet prince, because you'll be dropping bodies all over the place while using this baby. So I want to start out by just hitting the base stats of the gun and then I'll work my way into introducing the little true MLG Pro strats into the mix. Now, without any attachments, it's your pretty standard hard hitting pistol. It's going to take about two hits from close to medium range to drop your target. Unless of course you get a headshot, which is going to put them to sleep real quick like. When fully decked out with all the bells and whistles, this hand cannon changes its appearance from the ordinary pistol to a 52 pound harbinger of doom that looks like it would do just as much damage if you threw it at somebody instead of actually shooting them with it. So let's hop into some gameplay and we're gonna show you just what this gun looks like when it's out running in the wild. So right off the bat, the main strategy to run with with this gun is blind courage and balls of steel. You wanna constantly sprint around the map with nothing but your pistol in your hand and some fire in your heart. So this gun is obviously gonna work a lot better the closer you are to somebody. So the goal here is to get all up close and personal with your enemy before they even realize who you are. Another important thing to know about this gun is that 80% of the time, aiming is not required. The gun actually prefers to let off a few warning shots at the enemy before making contact with them. It is a gun, but at least it's a gentleman. It likes to let them know where you are before totally stealing the light from them. What a lot of people don't know and is very important to notice is that this gun is the perfect team support gun as well. When working together with other players on your team, the gun builds confidence within itself and its wielder, blessing them with reduced bullet spread and increased accuracy. Now I've spoken a lot about all the good things about this gun, but there are quite a few drawbacks. For instance, it has a very short effective range, so if you try to take down anyone from medium to long range, it's going to take three, maybe sometimes four shots to take it down. Also, the fire rate is that of probably a wounded turtle. You've got about two shots at the person before they start firing back, so you've got to make everyone count and always aim for the head. Be prepared, however, as with great performance, this gun also comes with popularity. Expect messages and party invites to fly in once people catch on to you. So one thing that is important to note when using this gun is that you want to pick and choose your targets. So for instance, I'm going to take this first guy down here, but I'm going to know that one other guy is going to be too much to handle right now, with so I'm going to let my buddy run in front of me and take the fire while I clean it up afterwards. Now right here we're actually trying the new ground war game mode that was just added into the beta. It's a nice little 32v32 battle on a much larger map than uh, what Call of Duty is used to. So here you're going to want to stick to the more confined areas and let your opponents come to you. Although, once several attachments are put onto the gun, it allows its effective range to increase from about the length of a baseball bat to a, a, a pretty good stone's throw away, allowing you to take more shots at targets further downfield. And another one of the new modes released during the beta is Night Maps. These are the standard team deathmatch games, where you, but you're playing at night with the use of night vision goggles. Now, what is awesome about this gun is that at night, it grants a user plus two dexterity and plus one strength. So these perks are going to help you a lot when you're climbing up on things, shooting down on enemies, it's going to pack a big punch. It's actually been known to be called the Angry Koala when played on night maps due to its nocturnal nature and its increased strength when the full moon is up. 
So yeah guys, that's about gonna wrap it up on this uh, tips and tricks video for the 50 caliber GS, or the good night sweet prince as I like to call it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I really hope that uh, you can really take some things away from it, grow. Feel free to just let me know what you think of the uh, GS in the comments, let me know how these tips have helped you, and if you have any other tips that you want to share with me, let me know. We could all use that help out there, guys. It's about the community coming together and helping each other out. So, once again, I am Snackman. Thank you for stopping by. We'll see you in the next one.